Claire Fox and Rod Liddle still to come, but it's time now for US superstar journalist Megyn Kelly. Now, it wasn't so much that Harry and Meghan scuttled away from the Jubilee back to their kingdom of woke, but it was how they did it. With breathtaking hypocrisy, the same couple that lectured us that, you know, we need to do better about stopping or allowing things that are causing so much harm to so many of us, like air travel, and who recently even launched a campaign for sustainable travel with their company, Travelist. Well, they decided that this, this was their greenest ride home. A Bombardier Global 6000, summed up by one stunned royal commentator as a, quote, Russian oligarch kind of jet. Experts say it would have belched out 10 times more carbon than if they had practiced just an ounce of what they preach and taken a commercial flight. Well, at least their journey home in disgrace was comfortable, unlike the loud and angry booing they received as they left St. Paul's Cathedral. Megan Kelly, there's a lot of reason to boo Harry and Meghan, right? When oh, they're telling yeah. us. To, uh, well, anyway, you just go, Megan. I just want to hear you on this. Just go. <laughs> I was just going to say that you know they were walking down those steps here and those boos going, oh, a bunch of racists. Racists <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they will never come to terms with why the public has turned against them in your country and in mine. People can't stand them now because they realize they're a couple of frauds. Their environmentalism is a fraud. Their perpetual victimhood is a fraud. Their supposed need for privacy is a fraud. And like any frauds, if you spend enough time watching them, they expose themselves over time. The environmental thing is fun, though. I mean, I just went back just for kicks to look at, you know, what they've said in the past. And as you point out, the the actual travelists, their eco-friendly tourism initiative in 2019 could be the worst. But she's been touting this since 2016 when she had her blog that nobody read. It's important that we never forget the well-being of our good old Mama Earth. What did Mama Earth think about your carbon footprint on your 13-passenger jet that had its own separate stateroom on the way home? Now, Dan, I will tell you, back in the Fox News days when we would go and do presidential debates or what have you, sometimes they would get private jets for you so you could get there and then you'd have to get back home to the studio, whatever. And I would travel with my assistant or my hair and makeup team, whatever. We we had like a little jet that had like six little seats. We'd be in there like, ah, ah, I'd much rather be in a commercial airplane. It's scary. They don't need, what do they need a 13 passenger jet for? Because they think they're important and they want the accoutrement to match. What do they need a $16 million mansion in Montecito for? Because they think they're important. They're royals. They're you know, Sussex Royal, and they want the surrounding environment to match. This is the same couple that made you and all of your viewers pay $50,000 for an environmentally friendly boiler when they moved into Frogmore Cottage, which the British taxpayers paid for. And they made you, the British people, pay for their vegan paints <laughs> for their cottage because they think you should pay for them to live in an environmentally friendly way while they then skulk off in their private jet, creating a bigger carbon footprint than the average British citizen, British citizen can ever hope to create in one's life. Yeah. Point two, he has said it in the past, well, we offset it all. This is what they all say, all these environmental frauds. We offset it. And what that basically means is I paid some company enough money to plant enough trees to cover my carbon footprint, to cover the, the cost to the environment of this jet. That's a fraud. All right. Most environmental groups will tell you that whole thing is a bunch of nonsense. Half these forests don't even exist. By the way, that happened to the Vatican. So it absolutely could have happened to these two. And I don't believe it in the first place. It's all just a shell game. They don't need to travel like that. Leonardo DiCaprio took a commercial airliner uh, to go to the environmental summit not long ago. These two can get on a commercial airline and sit in first class where they will shepherd them on before anybody gets on and they will shepherd them off before anybody gets off and be perfectly safe. It's about their egos.
Yeah, it is. But the irony is, Megan, I don't give a damn if they want to catch a private jet. I've got lots of rich and famous friends who are yep. prepared to pay for these things. Right? I don't give a damn. Just never, ever tell me again how I should travel. Never yes. do that again. Because <laughs> you are exactly, the yeah. biggest hypocrites in the world. And we should just block out their preaching. People are still listening to them on certain things. You know, like I still think that they have this platform because some people think they're in earnest, but the hypocrisy is totally rank. I agree with you. I know a lot of people who fly private, whatever. They don't lecture the rest of us on how we need yeah. to live. And then, by the way, these two to and fro everywhere you see them, they're getting out of Range Rovers. They're living in this huge mansion, which is not exactly environmentally friendly. So please just spare me. Maybe you should pick a different issue, right? Like pick one that's not as in your face uh, where you're not sincere on it. But like I said at the top, Dan, like, look at them with their request for privacy. We really don't want to be in the news. But could you pose for a picture with our little baby, uh, Queen Elizabeth? That'd be so great. We could get it in Netflix. Thanks so much. Right? Like, what did you make of that, Megan? It was crazy. And then, by the way, did you see as well, Kate and William put out a cute picture of, of their Prince Louis, you know, who'd stolen all of the attention at the Platinum Jubilee. And literally, yeah. within a few hours' time, Harry and Meghan, they had to release their own picture of Lilibet, didn't they? Because it's all just oh. a game to them. It's a of PR course. battle and it's pathetic. But honestly, like the worst thing she's done in the past month, we haven't even touched on. Speaking of putting oh, out what? inappropriate what? pictures, she went to Uvalde, Texas, the scene oh, of a no. mass murder of children here in the United States. No one did that. Not a single celebrity saw the mass murder of children and thought, this is a photo opportunity for me. So Only gross. Meghan Markle did. She couldn't go fly off and see her dad after his illness and his stroke, she, but she found time to fly to Uvalde. And the reason you know it was about PR is because she made sure she was photographed and in all the magazines back here as pays tribute to the fallen. You want to know how you pay tribute to the fallen in your prayers when you're speaking to the Lord in a donation to the organizations that will help these families pay for the funeral costs? And if you feel you must go to Uvalde, Texas, where you're naturally going to draw attention away from the families who are grieving, then you do it privately and you don't go anywhere near the actual memorial site where all the cameras are lined up and you know it. That dwarfs anything about her jet. She's got a Netflix show. We've talked about. She's got a Netflix show. She needs the content. I mean, I agree with you. It was sick, but she wants material. And that sums up this person. Mm -hmm. Do you think the booze are going to make their way into the Netflix? Um, the I, have Netflix a feeling, I have a feeling they might be edited out. <laughs> no, I doubt it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Megan. And of course, Megan you, is the host of the brilliant Megan Kelly Show podcast on Sirius XM.